gonna be honest, I'm heading somewhere new today and I haven't really done any research. I pinned it on the map back when I played in Stamford, back in November last year. I was like, oh, these little market towns in Lincolnshire seem pretty cool. So I just looked at the next one along on, on the map. And I guess I'm going there today. <laughs> I've bought my train ticket, but I don't know anything about it. I haven't even really looked at the Google Street View this time. I'm just going in blind. It's gonna be one of those days. Sometimes I think they're the most exciting days, you know? Just following your gut, trusting that things will work out. It's so peaceful around here. Dang. You know, I think I owe a lot to busking when it comes to when it comes to doing things for the first time, going to new places. It was busking that kind of taught me the lesson that if you put yourself out there and you you just lean into the experience, then magic things can happen. I think that all buskers should experience playing somewhere new. Even if you're like a, a hometown hero and you like your one spot and that's all you ever play, I think occasionally you should venture out. You learn things when you play new places. You learn things that then you can apply to your bread and butter busks. The places you always play. It's so peaceful here, man. You know, I'd go as far as to say, like, I think here in England, specifically England, if you zoom in on Google Maps, and you get it so it's like a square of like 50 kilometers. I reckon you will always find somewhere that's buskable. I reckon there's a buskable place every 50 kilometers squared. In it. It's a two train kind of day. I think some buskers get put off by travel because it's just not something they're used to. And I think the remedy of that is it's just to go. It's just to go and travel. Yeah, there's some costs involved of getting on a train or filling up your fuel tank, but once you've done it a few times, it becomes very normal. And I think going to new places does increase donations. Being a fresh face, you know, it's worth it in the end. I have just arrived in Spalding, which is where we'll be busking today. Right off the bat, freaking beautiful, man. Wow. I think another reason you get increased donations when you go to a new place, or you know, sometimes, most of the time anyway, is that you feel excited, you feel, you know, exhilarated by being in a new place. You're not staring at the same shops, you're not nodding to the same folk that you do all the time. It gives you like a oomph, you know? That said, I'm on my fourth day in a row of busking and four days is usually my max, so we'll see how much energy I get today. Of course, being in a new place means there are a few anxieties like, is there going to be a place to set up? Is there going to be another busker here? Do the locals even like busking here? I think they're the challenges you have to face that, that kind of teach you things about yourself. When you're faced with those challenges, it's how you react and how you s find a solution that kind of really makes you the busker you, you're meant to be. Or, alternative, you can just watch ARP videos of places I've been, and then at least you have some idea. Dang, Spalding High Street, or whatever this main road, Market Square, I think I'm on. I think I've scoped for where I'm gonna set up already as well. It is market day, so that's cool. Market day means that it's likely to be busy, but also you just don't wanna step on the market stall vendor's toes. Yeah, lovely. Looks lovely. Looks like a very buskable place. Let's see, shall we? Well, I think I'm gonna sit up here. It's hot, man. It's springs here. In terms of foot flow, it's not like the best bit of the pie street, but 
I just think it's good. You got people coming from there, and you've got people coming from here. And I'm here in the sunshine. So I reckon this is it. This is the spot. We'll see anyway. I reckon today could be a one spot wonder too. Now this is another reason why I think new places are so important. Just come into a new place where there's fresh faces, but you realise that it's very similar to everywhere else. You kind of lose that sense of like things being so unfamiliar and you realise that like people are just people and wherever you go it's kind of the same thing. Same characters, same you know atmosphere. Definitely the characters though. You see a lot of the same characters in places and you're like, I swear I've seen you before. And then you realise that you've just seen the equivalent of that person but in, in a completely different town. I guess I, I play a character to some people too. It's no surprise that the best busks are always those that you have no expectations on. Where you don't think, oh, I'm going to make this much today or it's going to go this well. And being in a new place just means you have to have no expectations because you don't know. You've got nothing to compare it to. It's not like I've been here before and I know that this place does well. The most disappointing busks are, of course, all these places that you've been to before and you did well and then you don't. But if you can harness that no expectations kind of energy for any busk, I think that you always have a good one regardless of the outcome. Always. You come from far? Brighton. Brighton? Yeah. Oh, I've got a long way Yeah, I've got a family nearby, so I just thought I'd check this place out. Right. I've never been here before. <laughs> Is that your no, it, it, looks, it looks a bit bare in places, but it's got some nice places too. There's a nice bookshop somewhere back there. Okay, cool. It looks it looks nice. It's nice buildings. Yes, yeah, old time nice, building. Nice sunny day. Have you ever seen buskers here? Uh, sometimes, yeah. That's good to know. There's somebody comes in there singing to the guitar. We used to have an old fella who just uh, strummed it. He didn't. Well, good luck with the piece. Oh, right, thank you so much. Appreciate it. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I've made two pound, I haven't even played anything yet. I never knew my own man's truck be run like that. I should have known better than to take that cup so fast. Teddy pulled up, I was down in the ditch, and he asked me why I did what I did. Well, there's this girl peering at shooting a well, off to a flying start. Instead of telling you how it went, I'll just edit in every single time I got a donation during those first two songs. And that will give you a good idea of how it went. Some folks ask me why I still play this guitar. Say living that life on the road don't get you very far. It eased off during the middle a little bit there, but it seems to have picked back up again. It feels a bit like the uh, donations correlate with the sun. Every time the sun shines bright, people throw some coins my way. Maybe I don't look so good in the uh, without the light shining on me. Maybe it hides some of my blemishes. I think like the, the start of every busk always seems to go like either terribly or really well and then it kind of like evens out. There are some busks where it just goes crazy the whole time but for the most part I always think that like the first two or three songs are like either crazy or nothing at all and then it like picks up or it like calms down. Here right now is really good for acknowledgement though. It's good for donations too but like I'm getting a lot of people just stopping and watching for like Three or four songs. I think this area. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> it's got to be done. Yeah, it's just a good area for like spectating. I think. very humbling busking. It doesn't matter how experienced you get at it, it, it goes it goes any way it wants to. It's one of the beauties of it. She's 
said, Why could I get out of here? Can't be dealing with this place and all these people. Oh, lockdown gonna get me down. Of course, there's the advantage of playing in a new place, knowing that no one here has heard you play the songs you're playing. And you play them every day. I play these songs all the time, four or five days a week, at least twice through this set. None of these people know that. Well, I wouldn't expect them to. Give me a couple of hundred thousand subscribers and maybe. What she mean? She said, tell me which way to the beach. I need something sweet to sink my teeth into, baby. Half goes faster than you think. So I'll ride the wave or miss babe or jump into the sea. Yeah. Tell me which way to the beach. I say. I really like the buildings, this one particularly. I don't know what it is, we'll go and explore it later. It's cool. I'm on my mind, I can't rewind, I think I need a sign. Get out of here. I gotta say that she agrees. Well, she can see exactly. What I mean, she said. Of course, a mega reason to play in new places is exposure, man. If you're an artist trying to get your name out there, I think like these days, people forget about how good just real life exposure is. You spend so much time trying to create the perfect TikTok to go viral, or try and work out to get them the most reach on each, you know, short video, and you get people like singing songs in public places to evoke a reaction so it gets shared. And actually, like, good old fashioned just graft. Just go out there in real life, put a sign out in front of you and play in as many places as possible. It certainly work, works for me better than anything else. Like, obviously these YouTube videos picking up, but like in terms of Instagram followers and stuff, I'd say that at least 50% of them are just people that saw me out on the street, you know? Probably more than that. I need something sweet to sink my teeth into, baby. Life goes faster than you think. It's a much more surefire way, I think. The whole internet thing is a lot of guesswork, a lot of following trends it can get a bit exhausting. Plus, I think being here in real life is a better experience. You're outside, you're interacting with people in real life. Tell me which way to the beach, yeah. Tell me which way to the uh, mm, beach. Of course, there's nothing wrong with making content to promote your music, but um, also busking, like not just in new places, but busking in general. Like, if you film your busks, you can get some of those like more authentic moments, those things that happen in real life, like you singing your latest single and people reacting to it, rather than it being like a fabricated thing. You can do it in like a more authentic way, and I think they're always the ones that are more powerful. You know, I certainly like want to listen to other people's songs when I hear them playing them for real in the street, you know. I'm not sure that those like fabricated reaction videos are my cup of tea, but nothing wrong with that. So this gathering of people here are a choir. They've just come over and told me that they're gonna do some singing for the next 15 to 20 minutes. So that's cool, be nice to listen to. I mean, this place is really cool. It's like a very community-based place. And that's what I wanted to talk about really, about going to new places. Like I could sing all of the praises for why you should busk in new places and why you should, you know, busk in general. But I feel like I'm preaching to the believers already, you know? I think that you lot already understand that. It's more about like what you learn about yourself and your fellow humans. I think coming to a new place, like, you realize that everywhere is so similar. It doesn't matter how well to do it is or how sort of rough around the edges it supposedly is. Like, you get the same characters, you get the same appreciation, you get the smiles, you know. You get the kids that just stop in amazement. You get the elderly folk who sort of look a bit despondent but still throw you a coin. Thank you so much. It's so cool, man. Like, you get it all. You suddenly realize that, like, we're all human and we're all, you know, we're all the same everywhere you go. We all want the same things. We all feel the same things. And, like, it teaches you so much about human. Even, like, in a situation where, say, like, someone's giving you a hard time as a busker. You know, they're like yapping away or they're trying to shout out over you. Or they're a bit of a, you know, dodgy, 
dodgy person. When you experience that in one place, you just assume that that person's horrible, you don't like that person, that person sucks. And then when you go to another place and it happens again with a different person, you suddenly realize that, oh hang on, this isn't like an individual thing, this is just what happens when someone isn't having a very good time in life. They become a despondent and kind of slightly reckless individual who want to like tear everyone down. Not because they want to tear you down, because they're not having a good time. So you don't internalize that like frustration and anger towards them. You just think, oh man, I feel sorry for you, you're having a bad time and I'm not gonna indulge you and I'm not gonna let it get to me, but I'm just gonna be here and try and be compassionate towards you. I think that comes as a result of like witnessing it multiple times across multiple places, I think. Yeah, I am. What's your YouTube account? I'll follow you. It's called, it's called August Radio Project. Like and subscribe and make sure you comment. That's <laughs> fun. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Oh, I want to be Sigma. I'm in a quiet, quiet interlude. I've never been to here before. I've never been to Spalding. No, no. Yeah, yeah. First time today. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's cool. Something even more magic happens when you meet musicians in new places. There's a, there's a communication and a connection and understanding between musicians that is like nothing else. Okay, that's the choir interlude over, I think. The lady who organised the choir just came over and handed me a tenor. So that was really sweet of her. Took her out. It was a Friday night. I woke her up. Get the feeling right. Everywhere has its subtle differences, obviously. If you cross countries and cultures and stuff, there's always differences too. Thank you. But I just think the most part, for the most part, people are all the same. We all want what's best, you know? And when it comes to live music, it like ignites this like connection between us all. What's made you gay? What's made you gay? Even those that don't like it, it's still a connection, you know? It still evokes a reaction. I think there's something powerful in that. My voice is going. Four days of busking on the trot. <clears throat> Told you, four days is my, my maximum, I think. That's my maximum endurance. <laughs> this place is cool. I recommend coming here if you're local to here. I don't reckon they get that many buskers, judging by some of the chats with the locals. So I'm gonna play one more and I'm gonna call it a day. I reckon we've done well. Three figs, maybe not, I'm not sure. We'll see. Hanging on a passenger side of his best friend's ride That's about the time that she broke Check out this donation. This is hilarious. <laughs> oh my god, am I gonna count that? I don't know if I can be bothered to count that. What's made you gay? What's made you gay? What's my age again? What's my age again? Well, there we go. Savers. Savers saves the day. That was a good spot. That was a good busk. Let's go and have a little inspection of the town. So now I'm in the market square. It looks like the market's finished. So this is gives you a bit more of an idea of what it looks like when it's not market day. Market days are Tuesday and Saturday. Do you want to know how I know that? I must be telepathic or something because I just seem to know that it's market day on Tuesdays and Saturdays. You could probably set up in that market square. I'm not sure what the uh, car situation is like on non-market days. But this is the other street I recommend. Like anywhere along here could definitely work. If there was someone set up where I was set up today, you could definitely set up here and you wouldn't clash each other. Possible for two people to be here. Two buskers at any one time. Oh, this is very scenic. Look at this. This should be a postcard for Lincolnshire. Freaking beautiful, man. Wow. 
Well, there it is, my busking day in Spalding. Never been here before, first time. Just ventured out somewhere new. I think the hardest time you ever do it is the first time. The first time you like get on that train to somewhere you've never been before, just to rock up and play music. It feels so weird. You're like, what am I doing? It, 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 this doesn't seem right. Like, this seems so crazy. And then you, once you do it once, you feel like actually, no, that wasn't so bad. And then you do it again and you do it again and it becomes very normal. And then, and then before you know where, where you are, you're, you're going on adventures and trips and suddenly that becomes normal. And you know, the next iteration of what I'm doing, at least, I think is like getting on a plane or getting on a ferry, you know? It's, and then that becomes normal. And then before you know it, you're just sort of traveling around to play music. And although I'm not like encouraging you to do exactly what I do, like I want you to find your own thing, your own path. I just think that trying new things, going new places, and, and especially going new places to do something that you do anyway, you know, playing music. It's important. It's important to see the world and experience it. And realize that we're all just human. No matter where you go, music is loved. It's adored. Back before I was busking, I wouldn't have believed it quite like I do these days. £104.44. pence, Zero taps on card here in Spalding. Plus whatever is in that massive bag of coins. It's all coppers, but I could be like three or four quid for all I know. Gonna have some fun counting that later on. Right, I need to get to the station really. I think I've got like 10 minutes on my train. Even when you're in a hurry, you can be slow. Ah, back where we all began. Well, not quite. It's just funny how places work. Like you just get a collection of houses and shops and people decide to reside there and that's a place. I think I've got like post bus Casey brain, which is especially prominent when you're on like your fourth day in a row of four hour, four hour bus. I'm going to sleep like a lock. Well, back in P-Town, those kids earlier told me that this is where it's at. This is the place to be. If you're a kid from Spalding at the moment, P-Town's where it's at. If you'd have asked me when I was a kid where it was at, I wouldn't have said P-Town. I think everyone grows up to sort of loathe their hometown, don't they? And then you become an adult, and if you travel around and busk a lot, like I do, you suddenly realize that everywhere is very similar. Uh, and like, it's hard to see the beauty in somewhere that you grew up, but actually there's a lot of beauty in it. But there's a lot of beauty everywhere. That's kind of the whole message of this video. I hope it came across all right. I'm absolutely cooked, I don't know if you can tell. I'm really tired. My train's delayed like an hour. And I'm gonna hand over to Future Me to finish off this video. Whilst I have some much needed R&R. &R. Gonna take a few days off busking. Ready for next week. I love it. What a life. All right, over to Future Me. Oh yes, my friends. Welcome to Future Me. <laughs> Spalding. I like Spalding, man. I will definitely return if I get the chance. But there's just so many places to busk. Every 50 kilometers squared, there's probably a place. And man, I wanna tick a few off the list, if you know what I mean. If you like this video, then please give it a like. If you're new around here, then press subscribe. If you'd like to leave me an online donation, you can click the super thanks button. And if you have a little bit more cash laying around, then I do have a Patreon where I post exclusive videos. Like full live sessions, direct from the Mackie Showbox, so they sound Good. I have a website that has merch on it, including my new sticker packs. August Radio Project's first ever sticker pack. Thank you for being rad. Because um, you watched this video, but also if you order one, um, they're up on the site. The link is in the description. It would mean the world. I freaking love stickers. So, just thought I'd let you know. Quick update from me. I am August Radio Project. I make videos, they come out every Monday. Whilst you graciously wait for the next video to come out, you could watch the one that comes up on the screen 
or go check out the many on my channel. I'll see you in the next one. Peace, love, list. And Where do I go? When breath becomes air, this is going to hurt, you know. You're a million.